All right, so I'm here with Osu 16 Bit, who's fresh off his main event match with THTB for our first Mortal Monday. How you doing, 16 Bit? I'm great. I got a tournament this weekend. I'm pumped up and ready to go. Sounds like it. Uh, where are you going? What's the tournament? Fighter Cross Shooter in uh, Chicago. I've and heard of that. It's like three tournaments in one weekend. We've got a preview tournament today, character auction tournament on Friday, then the main event Saturday and Sunday. It should be tight. Oh, good stuff, man. Well, good luck to you. Yeah, thanks. All right, so first off, let's start with your background. Before Evo, not a lot of people were familiar with the name 16-Bit. Like, I myself hadn't really heard of you outside of seeing you post on GameFAQs, so I was really shocked to see you place in the top eight. So for those of us who hadn't heard of you before your big breakthrough, can you tell us about your tourney experience? Well, I've been playing in tournaments for years. I was a mid-level, mediocre Tekken player for, uh, like, six years. Um, never really did much. I used to play with the St. Louis guys who were very, very good. Like, we got Slips, you know, Unconquerable, who everybody now knows as Sectroll. Oh, okay. And, you know, never made it out of any pools, never really did anything. Mortal Kombat came out, and I really got into that. And I've always sworn, if Mortal Kombat comes out, I'll be good. I know I'm not <laughs> good at Tekken, but if Mortal Kombat becomes good, you'll see. <laughs> so it feels great. It feels real great to be right. But um, with Mortal Kombat, I've actually been to two majors before EVO, and I did pretty well, but I was never on stream, and no one really talked about me. So it seems like it came out of nowhere, but some tournament players knew who I was and knew I was pretty good before this. Like, I was maybe two wins away from making top eight at UFGT and East Coast Throwdown. I see, this is the stuff you miss, right? There are a lot of great players in the scene that no one's heard of, really. Oh, yeah, I believe it. I mean, I, I know many myself. Okay, so uh, let's get right down to it. First and foremost, how do you feel about the Reptile vs. Katana matchup just in general? <laughs> oh, my God, I can talk about this for an hour. I, <laughs> I hate this matchup. I hate this matchup offline, and I hate it even worse online. It... <laughs> Some would say Cabal or Raiden, but I think it's Katana's worst matchup. I don't know what to do. I have no answer. So, um, why do you think that is? First off, you can't zone Reptile. I can try. I can try to keep up with Instant Air fans, but he has the Acid Spit, which will knock me out of the air. Then I get a knockdown. Once he gets the knockdown, the Force Balls come out. Then I'm falling behind, and it's hella close to catch up when you know the Force Balls are out. I, I have to be careful about the Air Fan. And he can just, you know, he just has the balls out. He has the acid, acid spit to keep me in check. There's there's not a lot that you can do. Once you fall behind, you're behind, and you have to get in. And getting in on Reptile is hard. The best bet is to, like, either try to square wave in or to let him come to you. And when you get in close, I don't want to be close to Reptile. Like, that's not a good <laughs> solution. That might be worse than trying to zone Reptile. All her shit, you know, she really doesn't have a lot of good pressure where she can keep advantage. People think she does. People think down one cutter and shit is better than it really is. A lot of her stuff leaves her in no, low negative frames or, or even, and then you have to respect the dash. That's the biggest problem is he's free to pressure you. You can kind of do your stuff, but I always have to respect the fucking, can I say fuck? You can say whatever you want, man. I got to respect the fucking dash constantly. So it's constantly on your mind. It scares the shit out of me. I just I want to get back out. I want to get away, but that's not a solution either. I, I don't know what the answer is. I've given it a lot of thought. This is this is not the first time I've been blown up by a reptile player. You know, everybody saw me get blown up by Chris G. Everybody's now going to see me get blown up by THGB. And uh, Sco <laughs> Scoot McGee blew me up at East Coast Throwdown. Uh, you, you're preaching to the choir, man. Reptile blows me up all the time. I honestly think he's better than anyone thinks. And everyone thinks he's top five. It's not like he's underrated. I think, how is he not, like, just as good as, like, Cabal and Raiden and Kun Lao? He's got everything. Yeah, I suppose he does, yeah. And I suppose in uh, Katana's case, it doesn't help the Reptile has, you know, strong wake-up pressure, and Katana's not so strong in the wake-up game, so... Her, her wake-ups are terrible. <laughs> yeah. Her wake-up, down one, I don't know why I'm saying this, but down one blows up her wake-ups. It's just that hardly anyone knows that. It sucks. <laughs> Man, nerf him. Ban Reptile, ban him. <laughs> I agree. He's terrible, man. Come on. 
<laughs> why why did they give him the the force balls and the acid spit? That's what I don't get. They give him everything. Like he has a fast mind, a slow mind, and the acid spit. I don't understand what they were thinking. <laughs> No, I, I should say for the record, I'm, I'm a big fan of Reptile. I don't play a whole lot of Reptile. Like, I like the character, but uh, no, I mean, he is a dick. I'm kind, of ex- I'm kind of exaggerating. I don't, they, I don't really have to nerf him. they don't really have to nerf him, but he's so good, and I just don't get this match. I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I hear you, man. No one I've asked has a solution either. Yeah, it seems like it. That's, that's kind of the consensus. So uh, you're you're no stranger to the reptile matchup, especially after you run in with uh, Chris G at Evo. And yeah, he's you know the- every everyone in top eight, he's who I did not want to play. I was really <laughs> shot. I wanted to play Johnny Cage. Uh, oh. I think everything's preferable to reptiles. So I hear you, man. Yeah, I would rather play Kun Lao. In fact, I think Katana does well against Kun Lao. I'd rather play Molina, anybody but reptile. And then I found out I got to play reptile. Uh. God damn it, Jop! Why couldn't you have won? <laughs> So, uh, Chris G, he's considered to be one of the uh, best reptiles in the business. A lot of people think he is the best. And uh, you crushed a lot of big names in the scene on your way up for the top eight. And he right. was the one who finally eliminated, the, yeah. eliminated you. So, uh, how does playing THTB differ from playing Chris G in your experience? You know, to be honest, that's the only time I've played Chris G. So, that's two matches. I'm nervous. Right. I'm not all there mentally. It's really hard to say. If you had to, like, break down their play styles, though, just from what you've seen. Even just from, like, watching them play. I really couldn't point to any major differences. I think I, Scoot's really good, too. And THB's, THTB, this is not the first time we played. He's on my friends list. We've played maybe three or four times. He always blows me up. <laughs> um, you know, I really couldn't point to any differences, to oh, be honest. Fair enough. So, uh, looking back in your matchup now, uh, what do you feel you could have done better? Like, what mistakes did you make? How would you correct them or avoid them in the future? God, like... First off, I got to give up trying to jump over force balls online. <laughs> it's, it's impossible. That I very true. It's been a day, and I'm still salty about the moment in the last game when I throw the, <laughs> I throw the ex fan. It hits, and I go to jump over the force ball to combo him, and I jump right into the force ball. I got to give up trying. It's hopeless. I need to just let him come to me. Oh, this yeah. stra- strategy of trying to get in, it's a waste of time. Oh, that makes uh, sense. I think the only answer is to make him come to me, because he will. And I guess I definitely got to get better at punishing the dash. It seems impossible online. You know, people say it's easy on Test Your Mind. Oh, it's not that. <laughs> Man, get out of here. Well, variable block stun, right? Yeah, it's, it's hard, man. It's so subtle. It's not that it's not punishable enough. It's that the animation... Like when Cabal, when you block Cabal's dash, you know how he's like, oh, and he leans back. You can see. So you have like right. a mil- you have a million years to be like, all right, I got the punish. With Reptile, if, he, if you don't know it's coming, if you don't read it, if he just throws it out and you get lucky and block it, you can't punish it. it maybe if, you have the, if you're a Jedi, <laughs> if you have the reactions of a god, or you have Kun Lao's spin. Yeah, I can see that. But, uh... And, and a big problem with me is I don't play offline much. I go to tournaments, occasionally Slips comes over to my house and we play. Right. Other than that, I play online. So all my Reptile experience is online, where I'm not used to being able to punish the dash. I suppose that, that's hard to transition over. Yeah, it's online sucks, man, but it's all I have. <laughs> no, that's, that's all a lot of us have. I mean, I hear you there. So, uh, generally speaking, is there any advice you can offer to Katana players with the Reptile matchup? You know, like, what they should look for, how they should approach him, what they should be trying to avoid? Beyond what you just said, obviously. God, man, I, the Katana community needs to help me. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, all you Katana players yeah. out there, this is, this is your chance to PM 60 in bit with your hidden knowledge, your, your undercover uh, Katana tech that you don't want out there. Like, Conqueror, if you're out there... Send me a PM. Help me <laughs> out, man. Like, I guess you have to do the instant air fan. The ground fan is too slow. You'll see in this matchup, since it's online, and I was fucking up, I was getting ground fans. There really were supposed to be instant air fans, but I was messing up. Right. The, the ground fan is just too slow. He'll be able to get the force balls out, and then you're done. You have to master the instant air fan. Um, you know, like I was saying, let him come to you. Be really careful whenever you do something that leaves you in low advantage. You know, do forward, two, one, and then block. You know, normally we like to down jab, 
or you can try to jump or whatever like that. Because of the dash, you can't. You have to. It's like Kun Lao. You have to block all the time. Right. Um. That's the man. You know, I've been trying to catch him with a trade with the EX fan. Uh, that's about all I can think of. I don't know if someone has something better than <laughs> I know. Let me know. That's some good stuff, though, man. Like, so generally, you wanna you wanna kind of let him make his mistakes and trip him up. Let yeah, tr try to survive in the zoning war as long as you can. And if you start to fall behind, give up and start turtling and wait till he comes. Try to maybe dash into the range where you'll be able to block the dash, and then let him come into you and, and try to react to what he's doing. And maybe you can get a lucky four two one or a jump in. Maybe you can get something, or you can punish a dash. If you're not fucking online, <laughs> I, I don't think there's any way she can actually beat him. You have to let him come to you and then beat him. Hopefully, it's tough. That's 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 a good piece of advice, though. I mean, that seems uh, it's very footsie oriented. Like, yeah, I I think my biggest problem is that I'm so afraid of him. I'm not following my own advice. Like, I'm panicking and trying to do square wave and crap like that and throwing shit out because I'm panicking. Right. Calm down and let him come to you because his mix-ups, his pressure is strong, but his actual mix-ups. You know, he can do down four or throw. You know, there's not a lot that you have to worry about in terms of 50-50s and stuff like that. So just let him come in and start pressuring you. And you know, he's not going to kill you with that pressure. That's a good point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One more very important question I think the whole community has been wondering about. This has been a lot of minds, I feel. Do you think maintaining your beard is important to staying on top of your game? Is there a secret to how you buff your beard? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's very important to keep that manly look, not let it get too shaggy. I guess um, you gotta you gotta kind of you gotta kind of compensate because you're playing katana, right? You gotta look really like gruff and right. manly and grizzled. Right. You know, she's a princess, very feminine. And I'm this big, fat, bearded, like <laughs> you know, kind of look lumberjack, kind of looking guy. Yeah, I actually just trimmed my beard for this tournament. I'm not kidding. Like, the day before. I'm like, I'm going to go to a tournament. I got to look good. I got a haircut and get a beard trim for this tournament, man. I got to look good on stream. 16-bit, keeping his, his edge sharp, taking all the uh, taking all the necessary measures to help yes. himself with this tourney. It's very important. All right, and uh, before we wrap up, if you came back for another Mortal Monday, is there anyone you'd like to play? <clears throat> Any uh, dream matchups out there you might have? Um... <laughs> Let's see. I don't want to play THTB again. <laughs> no, no I, I'm kidding. I, good games. Uh, he's great. I was not looking forward to this, but that's enough with him. He's blown me up enough. Um, I will play... <laughs> let's see. There's a lot of those guys that I've never played. I've never played... I've never played you. Right. You, play, you play Cyber Sub-Zero. I, I do main Cyber Sub-Zero. I don't know how you're going to get in on me. I would like to see you try. Yeah, I, I'd like to not see me try. I mean, I could save myself <laughs> the embarrassment. I don't know. If you can get in, you can win, but that's, that's going to be true. that would be very hard. Um, you know, Snips and Milky Situation, those guys on GameFAQs, by the way, shout out to GameFAQs. Shout out to GameFAQs. Never really played any of those guys. I'd play them. They're reptile players, though, so maybe I don't want to play them. <laughs> yeah, um, don't worry, they've blown me up plenty on their own, so I mean, I'm, if you have the uh, same fate, I'll be right there with you. I'd have to look at the list and see who's there. I haven't really been keeping up. Oh, well, you know, if there's anybody that you want to play, you could always uh, get back to us, and uh, we'll see if we can put on another show for the, uh, the fans. Yeah, I want revenge. I want. I gotta get a win. <laughs> after, this, after this bodying, I gotta look good on this thing. Gotta run it back a reptile? Yeah. Maybe not reptile. Maybe, maybe you can put me up against someone I can beat. All right, we'll, we'll figure out what, uh, for next week, we're going to figure out what, what Katana's worst, uh, I mean, best matchup is. We're going to pair you up with somebody who plays that character. We're going to make sure you look good. Yeah, do we have a Johnny Cage or a Sub-Zero player here? I, I want to play Tom Brady. That's who I want to play. <laughs> he won't play online, but we've been arguing this matchup, Katana versus Sub-Zero, at like two tournaments and in different chats. And I think it's a terrible match, and he thinks it's a winnable. I I want to play him offline or online. Tom, I'm calling you out. <laughs> down one, down one, down one, man. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I hear what he says if he gets the knockdown, that he can kill me. I hear that, but... That is true. Ran I mean. random, random slides don't scare me, Tom. Your slides... No. Nah. <laughs> I block one slide and you're done, man. That's very true. 30% unbreakable. Right in your face. Right. 
All right, man. Well, thanks for taking the time to conduct this interview, and I'm sure a ton of players are going to appreciate your input.